So how to replace a touchpad on your Chromebook. But if you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. I use a screwdriver and pry tool to remove all the screws and loosen the panel because we're going to focus on the touchpad. Uh, you can also look at it a disassembly video or your user manual, manual if you're not sure how to do that on your own. But let's focus on the touchpad. So first thing I want to do once I'm inside, also the links for the screwdriver and uh, pry tool are in the description. I'm going to grab the tabs and detach the battery. That's the first thing you want to do because you don't want any power in the board or anything like that that could cause problems uh, like shorts or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, typically there'd also be some screws holding it in but not with this particular model so I don't have to loosen any screws. Uh, if you find differently you might have to do so if you're, if you're looking at this video with a different model. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to unplug this ribbon cable. I'm going to open up the little flap and pull it out by the tab, being careful not to break it, and gently pull it off like so, being careful not to bend it too much. Now I'm going to remove this uh, tape. It's going to take a bit, so we're going to fast forward uh, because the tape is really stuck on there, but that is where the screws to the touchpad are, so I have to remove this before unscrewing the touch pad. So let's skip ahead. So I've got the tape mostly up, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove, remove these first two screws, just like so, being careful not to strip it. If you find uh, that it's not going, watch the screw, make sure that you're not, you don't wanna strip it and have it not be able to be removed. Drilling it out is a real pain. So I'm going to remove this one too, and then we're gonna work on the rest of this tape here. Removing the last bit of tape, the ribbon cable popped off, just like that. And now I'm going to remove this last screw, but just so you can see what it looks like, I'm going to plug it back in so you can see how to remove it otherwise, like so. And then you would just lift up on the little black flap and gently pull it up, like so. Okay, so now that I have this loose, we're going to go ahead and pull it out. You do this by flipping over the laptop and what you're going to do is you're going to take two of your fingers and you're just going to push on the touch pad from behind and it pops right out. Now let's show you how to install your new touch pad. So you would grab your new touch pad and then you would install it with the little, uh, as you can see there's those two little pieces of, of um, to hook in first, those two little pieces of metal and then the part without that pops in gently. So for this one it's the bottom goes in first and then the top just gently does it. As you can see it has those little pieces that go in first like so and then you gently set it in and make sure it's firmly in there. Now let's flip it back over once again and now we're going to screw those back in. So I'm going to take a screw like so and now a uh, helpful hint, you can magnetize any screwdriver by leaving on a powerful magnet for 20 to 30 minutes. Just like so, I'm gonna pull back this tape and I'm gonna set it on there, but as you can see, the touch pad immediately falls down. So I'm gonna put, set two fingers under there and I'm gonna push it up while screwing it down, like so. And I'm gonna have to do this each time. which is where the magnetized screwdriver really comes in handy. Like that, it falls down. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again. Hold it up. And then I'll just repeat the process till all the screws are back in. Like so. All right. And now I'm going to set the tape back down like so in the original positions. Um, also, I had a piece that kind of fell off, so I'm just going to place it back on there, like so. It's a little ugly looking, but we're going we're gonna to work with it. Now, I'm going to put that ribbon cable gently back in its original position. It was under the big ribbon cable, so we're going to do that. The one that was the key motherboard and keyboard. So, I'm going to first plug this back in gently, like so. Don't force it and then put that black flap back down, lay it down gently. Uh, you don't wanna bend it into a position that it was not set in. Um, that can ruin the ribbon cable. I'm gonna open this back up, gently place it in, and then set the flap down. Like 
think so. Lay that back down. And now we're gonna do the battery real quick and we're looking pretty good to go. Get back in. Um, and then I should test it before I, I'm going to put the panel on and then test it before I put, screw it down and, and close back up. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.